Six Borbis, we did some distribution work in Sanford. Um, a section of Sanford um, weren't receiving water because lines were only run on one side of the road, so we had to lay distribution pipelines on the other side, and also we had to regularize some customers because we have some customers that were receiving water for years that weren't on our system. Also, I um, mean, Firish, um, Talji, and Crabble Creek, we had to lay some distribution pipelines. Got a section of these areas weren't, were, were, were receiving water, but the distance that uh, it was coming from, and plus the area, a lot of pipelines, three quarter lines, had to run, we run two drains and so on. So, so we had to install some pipelines to prevent that. Um, extension, the tennis transmission from 66 to 67. In order to increase the treated water coverage um, from number 56 plant going up the, the treatment plant at Queenstown. Uh, we had to extend the distribution, the transmission line. But this project is only about 30% completed. So next year we plan to continue this project so that the resident from number 6 to 6 to number 7 to 5 could receive treated water. Um, Liverpool and Arc Line. These two villages have sections that are without distribution means. So a lot of customers are receiving water from lines that, that three quarter lines that run 100, 100 meters, sometimes 200 meters from the main road, going to the residents. And at another times, the pressure that they're receiving the water, it is not that great. So you have to install some distribution means. And presently, these two areas, the customers are receiving about 10 PSI water as compared to six I used to receive before. Um, the for the three, for this Queenstown, Namsadam and Portman treatment plant areas. Um, he did some work by installing media into the filters so that um, the water quality that the, this plant produce would be improved. We're still in the process of adding media to these three, three treatment plants and also we're supposed to start a, plant, a treatment plant at number 56. Um, the foreign distribution in Key and Field New Area uh, section, a section of this area wasn't, weren't, residents weren't receiving any water. We installed some distribution lines. We connected the customers them, but we're still waiting them to come in and pay so that we can open up the connections. Um, Anga is Avenue. This is an ongoing project. This is just a section that we, did, uh, that we install some distribution means to cater for uh, about 50 customers. Um, they, we had to relocate uh, 16 crossing. Reason being, uh, we have 66 and 43 bridge. We have some fishermen that normally uh, damage a pipe on 
different occasion to get water. So in order to prevent contamination or something, we had to do some work and relocate the, um, the trench crossing. And also we did some service connection upgrading in different parts of Division 5, reason being, uh, you have a lot of connections, uh, three-quarter connections that go to customer's house. A lot of them are in the drains, a lot of them are in bushes, and a lot of them are leaking. So most times when, when the pipe cut off in the evenings, a lot of times they get contaminated water sucking them back to these lines. So we did some upgrade to these connections, and we next. But we still, it's an ongoing process, basically. And last but not least, um, Mr. Garrick. Thanks. The train is a very difficult region. to very good you. But uh, they have some very old systems. And they're seeking to look at some of the areas. So, Mr. Garrick. Right, uh, within tree is very challenging in terms of uh, what's supplied to the customers and residents there. Um, we have two main challenges. One is the quality of power we see from our sister company, GPL. And two is the low production from most of our wells. Um, quite recently, we managed to improve the level of service in the Hubu area from Lakabu to Salem by reactivating the Hubu well. Um, the level service moved from ground level in most years to second floor level. Um, we restored, in that event, we restored the water services to the Perica facade area after a year or so. Person not receiving there. And we are, have identified other areas that we, um, in the Perica zone, that we will improve the level service. Um, as the C mentioned about the failing wells, one of them is the tuition system that we have to receive. Quite shortly, we'll move to do that. So um, mm -hmm. the residents in Tushin will have a, a lower level service once we start that process. So we ask you to bear with us until we get that well back in operation um, to what we need it to be. The citizens or the residents in the Metamezorg area we had a problem there um, quite recently also. Um, that area is now being served by two smaller wells. Um, production is 24 hours. While the level of service has dropped, there has been no, um, uh, no supply um, to areas within that um, zone. Um, for the other areas, uh, we recently had some problems with, as you would know, GPL would have made the announcement in the West Bank area that of the power supply. That tremendously affects the wells, eight of our wells in that area, from the Parafate area to the Vigilant Wales Canal Number no. Two um, systems. Whilst the residents may see power at their homes, the quality of power at the well stations will not and that suffice the operation of those wells. So sometimes you will have no water supply. But we work on our, um, with the company, GPL, to see if we can um, reduce that downtime. Um, 2017 promises to be better, far better as my director has promised. Um, we hope to drill some wells to alleviate problems in the paraffin, the new schemes of paraffin, Westminster, Schoonard, and supply water to the new housing schemes at Lust and Russ. Um, however, before that, before we end the year, we are looking to install distribution mains in those areas, unserved areas of Zealot uh, bicycle scheme um, and some parts of Perica. So, Whilst we have some challenges, some amount of work has been done as we speak.